Hello guys, uh, so welcome to Warframe Update 16. I normally don't talk to any of these videos, but I kind of wanted to lay out the one of the newer features from Update 16 called the Simulacrum, or Simulacrum, I want to pronounce that. Uh, this is the long-awaited virtual reality firing range that the players had so desperately asked for of DE, and we finally have it. So here's the way it works. Uh, Seth wants Maris, whose room is in the top four of the relay, any relay will do. Uh, can, you know, you do the quest, you unlock him, you go and scan targets using synthesis, yada yada. Once you do that, you gain standing, and once you have 50,000 standing, you can go and purchase a key to access the simulacrum. I'm assuming that the key is, you know, multiple uses, so don't worry if, about it being a one-time thing or anything like that. So, once you're here, depending on how many enemies you have scanned, fully scanned, mind, it'll tell you, you need to fully scan to unlock them, you can actually spawn holographic copies whose level you can actually increase up to a cap. I think the cap is actually affected by your mastery rank, so higher mastery rank players will be able to spawn incredibly high level enemies. So, if we wanted to see how a certain weapon build did against, say, heavy grenier or corrupted bombards, actually that might be a better thing, we'll spawn, we'll spawn two of them. Uh, sure. And we will put their enemy level at, let's say, something something reasonable, like, like, like 58. We'll say 58 for right now. So this will put two level 58 bombards once you press simulate. And you have infinitely spawning health and energy here uh, that will instantly refill your supply. And then you can, ah, there they are. Try to damage stuff, but they do, do take a lot of damage. Yikes, let's not die. Uh, and that's basically it. You have a large kind of virtual reality place to kind of mess around with. Uh, very cool. Um, I'm probably going to get wrecked. You guys are great. I don't know if you're not. Oh, boy. Oh, thank you. Just shred them. So, as you can see, it scales them appropriately, including all their armor and damage. So. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can spawn pretty much any enemy you want at the time, as long as you have the codex hand to do it. So, uh, I personally think this is going to be a great way to test if weapon builds do something uh, against certain enemies. Uh, now the only issue is being able to get all the codex scans to do it. Uh, so that's all. That's all you have to do. Just uh, use synthesis scanning to get synthesis scanning on targets. Right now it's a green answer, but apparently there's going to be updating lots of targets in the future. It gives you about 2,000, 3,000 uh, standing per synthesis scan. Maybe even more with affinity boosters. I'm not really sure how that works. But once you get 50,000, you can buy this key and come here whenever you want directly from Samaris's room in the relay. Uh, so that's all. I don't mean to, you know, break the flow by talking a lot, but I just wanted to explain it to people who may not have known how it works. So, that's all. See you later.